What makes up the simulation center here at Ross University School of Medicine is actually two different areas. Primary area is the Simulation Institute. The Simulation Institute accredited by the Society for Simulation and Healthcare. Since 2013, that includes high fidelity simulation using Laridol's 3G SimMan, as well as Harvey, which is a heart sound simulator. The other portion of that is actually the clinical skills exam lab where we actually teach physical exam skills as well as using standardized patients for students to be able to integrate what they're learning in the classroom with what it looks like when it walks in the office. What we use are tools to help students create a methodical approach to critically ill patient with time sensitive needs. They come in, we go through a case, we give them dem demographics of the patient and a brief history of what's going on with the patient standing outside the hallway somewhat simulating what happens in a hospital. We then walk in the room Hello, and they take care of the patient, introducing themselves. This is my team, Mr. Cole, who's going to be looking after you today. Creating the rapid assessment of ABCs. They do a focused physical examination and a general survey, developing as they go along a diagnosis to work with and then implementing a treatment that will save the patient's life. SimMan is able to demonstrate blood pressure, he's demonstrate pulse, respiration, heart rate, as well as other very nice things he can do. For instance, he can talk, so there can be some degree of conversation and a response to the treatment. So if they provide the accurate treatment, then they can see an improvement in vital signs. All of these things make the situation real. We want them to integrate what they're learning in the classroom with what it looks like in the patient, as well as that methodical approach to how you approach the patient. What we know is that when patients are critically ill and you're nervous, your emotions get in the way of saving the patient's life. And so by going through the simulation, we can take out that nervousness by helping the students deal with it with a patient that's not going to die on them. And then when they meet the real patient with the real problem, they know that their emotions are there and they can set those aside and take care of the patient. The second portion of what we do, using standardized patients, real people with a real story, and the patient's challenge is getting the story, both in terms of content and then demonstrating the process elements of the interview. Using the standardized patient means that they get, all students get the same story. They're, this is done with senior faculty. So we're then able to give students feedback on how they did. Good job picking up on those cues that the patient's giving you and responding appropriately, right? In addition to that, they get to examine the patient looking for real pathology because their standardized patients may not have the real pathology, but in this level, it's about can you do the exam? And so again, senior faculty is able to observe and give students feedback on their ability to do the examination. And the patient-centeredness that we provide, we believe will make students the choice that people will choose when people get to choose who their doctor will be.